health and people, public health and cholera. So in industrial Britain, there were a lot of health problems. Local councils were, pro- were responsible for most of them. Um, diseases were often caused by poor housing conditions and overcrowding. Disease was common and spread very quickly. Typhoid was caused by contaminated food. Tuberculosis was caused by germs that were spread by sneezing and coughing. And cholera was again caused by contaminated food and water. Um, water and sewage were often left in the streets and flowed into local rivers. Private toilets were extremely rare. Living conditions were quite bad. Houses were small and close together, and most people had started moving from the countryside to cities like London, Birmingham, and Manchester. A quick refresher, um, which disease was caused by contaminated food or water and spread through unhygienic conditions? It's not tuberculosis, which is spread by germs. It's not cholera. I can't actually remember off the top of my head, so I'm going to have a quick check. And it is typhoid. So typhoid is caused by contaminated food and water and is spread through unhygienic conditions. Um, if we continue and look at cholera, cholera is transmitted through water. Um, at the time, people thought it was produced by rubbish and, humus, um, and human waste and was spread through miasma, which is a theory that was then disproven. Cholera epidemics happened in Britain every few years, between 1831 and 1866, and the symptoms included uh, vomiting and diarrhoea both of which aren't particularly pleasant. Edwin Chadwick wrote a report on the living conditions in 1842 called the Reports on the Sanitary Conditions of the Labouring Population. He was shocked by how bad conditions were. He recommended improved drainage and better sewage systems. Um, did policy change? Not really. The government had a laissez-faire approach and not much happened. In 1848, the Public Health Act passed an act set up a Board of Health, um, but not many authorities did much. It didn't have huge impact and also wasn't compulsory. So a quick refresher on that, which of the following about Chadwick are correct? Um, He thought the cholera was caused by bad air, yes. He thought the bad living conditions were important. He wrote a report in 1842. That's all spot on. Cholera epidemics happened every few years between 1831 and 1864. Not 1864, 1866, sorry. John Snow, uh, not the man from Game of Thrones, but he's a, he's a big figure in this course. Born in 1830, he was a physician. He spotted in 1854 that all the people who got cholera lived near the Broad Street water pump in London. He removed the pump and saw that actually it had been contaminated by leaking street toilets, so there was sewage in the water. This confirmed that cholera was not airborne, but waterborne. Another interesting person is William Farr. He correlated um, the water sources and the spread of cholera to prove that cholera was waterborne, proving John Snow's thesis. Quick refresher on that topic. By the 1840s, John Snow saw all the victims of the cholera epidemic in 1854, lived near the Broad Street, and its water pump cholera was waterborne. Keep going through the refresher. In 1872, there were only 50 medical officers. Although Edmund Chadwick wrote a report in 1842, there wasn't a huge impact and it wasn't compulsory. So, the Industrial Revolution happened in Britain between 1760 and 1840, which is the backdrop of this. So, lots of people moved to cities, and in 1842, Chadwick's report found that a lot of people were suffering from severe overcrowding 